Alright, first and foremost, I want to say Kalalal, Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Rukha Kodash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Graveless Stone, and salutations to all the brothers who are pushing this work in all sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Yahaya from the James Kings in Jamaica camp, here with you once again. Now, as you can see on the screen, this is an article from the Gleaner, which says that the NCB, it says that NCB says some ABMs down following Saturday's attack on Beryllium Guards, right? Now, what, it's, what you're looking at right now is an example of change, you understand? Because we're living in time of great change. We're moving forward into the fourth industrial revolution. So things like these are going to start to happen more and more to propel the idea of the fourth industrial revolution. You understand this is also an example of Hegelian dialectic, right? Now, Hegelian dialectic is um, a process that has three parts, right? It has the thesis, the antithesis, and the synthesis, right? The thesis is what is can be considered what is, right? What is now, what is happening, are the state of a condition of a thing currently occurring. Right? The antithesis is the contradiction to that. Right? The contradiction are opposing force force to that thesis and the synthesis is the solution. Right? So what is currently now, which is the current banking system, the infrastructure that we live in in, right? It has a contradiction. There is a oppos there is an opposing force that is showing that the current state of transactions in the financial sector is flawed. Right? So they are they are actually showing these things through the attacks that are being caused on beryllium. They are showing it through the negative impacts that the current um financial structure has on society. Right? So that is the antithesis, right? Now the synthesis is the solution that they are coming with, which is a move to digital transformation, which is a part of a major part of the fourth industrial revolution. You understand the digital transformation of and flow of currency that is going to take place in society, right? And they are going to come, they are going to basically use this process of Hegelian dialectic to push forward in what the scripture refers to as the MOTB, right? Which is referencing the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16, right? So, the scripture tells us that tell you that we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, right? Lest, lest he should get an advantage of us. So those who are in the know will be will have that spiritual eye salve to see clearly what is taking place. Because when you read into this article, which I'm going to do, you'll see exactly what I'm saying. Right? So let's read into the article a bit, which says that the National Commercial Bank has alerted its customers in Kingston, St. Andrew and St. Catherine to expect disruption, disruptions in its automated banking machine services following Saturday's attack on a beryllium vehicle in St. Thomas. Right? Now, in recent months, you can see that these attacks, these attacks on the guardsmen who are transfer, transporting physical cash has increased. You understand? So, the thesis there is them providing a means of facilitating um facilitating the 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 public with cash with physical cash which we are used to right the antithesis is the force that is causing a breakdown in that process which is the attacks on the beryllium guards you understand now what is the solution that they are going to provide let's see it says it is said it said this was due to reduce operations by Beryllium Limited, right? So NCB urged customers to plan accordingly and consider alternative banking options such as online and mobile banking services. So this is the solution that they have provided, which is a part of the fourth industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution is actually a re complete overall of the financial system. Now the CBDC is a part of it. The blockchain, um, the blockchain technology is a part of it. All of these um, um, components are a part of the fourth industrial revolution, right? Which is going to push forward in what the scripture um, speaks about in the book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, 
You understand? So it says, we understand that this may cause inconvenience and frustration, but we assure you that we are working diligently to minimize the impact on our customers, NCB said on social media. Right? Now, the impact that they are going to try and minimize is to actually provide society with a more convenient way of doing transaction, which is digital currency. So you can see clearly how Hegelian dialectic is playing out here. Understand? If you understand the concept, right? So it says a security guard employed by Beryllium was injured after his team was attacked in Albion St. Thomas while serving servicing an AT ABM on Saturday morning. You understand? So clearly, you can see that all of these things are happening to break down the current state of the financial system, the, the transaction of physical cash, providing and supplying the economy with physical cash, right? Because we are currently moving into the state of a digital era, right? The digital currency, more becoming more digital, right? Everything that is happening right now is leading towards that. So you can conclude to some extent, right, that this current state of what's happening right now is by design. They have, they have created this. You understand? They have created this. The um, logics is all leading into that, to that direction. You understand? So let's get um, a few precepts, right? So this is a book of, I started with the book of Ecclesiastical chapter 10. Right, Ecclesiastical chapter 10, verse, verse 1. It says, A wise judge will instruct his people, and a government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of man the rule of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Right? An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Right? So the rulers that be, they are leading the people into the state of the fourth industrial revolution. You understand? They are ordering through very cunning devices, right? They are ordering the people into a narrow passage, which is to accept the CBDC, right? Which in turn will force them to accept the, the MOTB. You understand? So therefore, you have to be very aware of what is happening you have to be looking out and seeing clearly what is happening in society right now right and the ones that are going to enable to see clearly are the the, the men of the lord right it says this is the book of ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse i start a verse uh verse verse 33 it says take heed of a mischievous man for you work it wickedness lest he bring upon thee a perpetual blunt so take heed of that mischievous man, which that mischievous man currently is the one that is ruling society right now and he's the one that is um, pushing forth the agendas. I understand the wicked that the Bible speaks about in Malachi chapter 1, which is Edom, the chief house of Edom, right? The Edomites, the Caucasian race, they are the ones who are basically um, turning the gears of society, so to speak. Right, you can look into the um, WEF, which is the World Economic Forum. You can look in what is happening um, via the United Nations and the policies that they're that they are considered to push out. Right, you can look on the lower level, which um in your local government and see what is taking place, and you can see that they are all in alignment with the global agenda. You know, bringing forth society into um, what you call it now. You call it um N W O the New World Order. You understand? So that is what they are they are they are leading to us. And you can see in you can see also prominent figures um in the world like Henry Kissinger speaking about these things, David Rockefeller, all of these men are a part of the agenda to bring forth the world into a new world order, right? And a part of that new world order is what they are what they are doing with the fourth industrial revolution right um i could bring up more precepts on this but to just let you digest all the information that has been expelled onto you is it me i want to say 
Hope that this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I want to say, Kalalal, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahushai, Ba Hashem, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Grimmel Stone and salutations to all brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. Shalom.